Holy hole, I don't it. Or maybe a bit more like Bert and Ernie. Hey, Bert. This is Luke and Lewis on Triple M Modern Digital. Luke and Lewis for lunch on Triple M Modern Digital. Welcome to the Tuesday show. Uh, another classic show on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> God, um, we've got uh, we've Lewis got some clearly fun scripts up. these before the show. I don't see him for half an hour, and I'm like, "What are you doing, man?" He's like, "Just scripting the first sentence for every day." Yeah, you know what? Every day you come in here and you nail it. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, like you don't even make them up at all on the spot. No, I don't know if you know this, Luke. Um, I haven't told you this before, but I actually script everything that I say in our entire show. Wow. And luckily, every time we <laughs> you're do not the a show, great writer. <laughs> Well, every time we do the show, somehow you say your lines perfectly, despite not knowing that I've written all of your words. Yeah. See, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it's in the script. Well, today on the show, it is Radio Mike, our button pusher's birthday, so we'll be celebrating that uh, coming up. And uh, Happy birthday, Mike. You just give yourself a birthday a, cheer. Birthday applause. Right, no, well, I'm going to boo you. We've got a live audience in today. Oh, thanks, yeah, for, sure. thanks for organising that, guys. Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> give us, give us, a, give us a, a yay. Yeah. <laughs> Great sound effect. And also, uh, we're going to be talking about my big scheduled Christmas surprise for Lewis after the break. It's time to talk about Luke Kidgel's mysterious yet also scheduled Christmas surprise yes. for me. There's an area of mystique uh, around the surprise still because you don't know what the surprise is exactly. There's just no... Uh, mystery about when it's going to happen. It's Thursday, 3.03 p.m. <laughs> yes, because Luke, uh, ac- Luke has been organizing a Christmas surprise for how long? A uh, few weeks now. A few Almost weeks. Almost a month. Okay, so you've kept this, you've actually done a really good job at keeping this a secret, yeah, apart just... from when you got really excited when we had a guest on a couple of days ago yeah. and you let slip that you have a surprise for me. Yeah. So now you've just backed yourself and saying that you meant to do it and it's a scheduled it's, surprise. It's still going to blow you away. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's a surprise. I've never scheduled? put this much effort into any Christmas gift before, before this. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Does your girlfriend know this? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. And now I'm going to have to backtrack there and uh, have a conversation with her after the show because I keep getting excited on air and say <laughs> <laughs> um, What's your uh, ABN and account number? Huh? What's your BSB and account number? Um, why would I say that on radio? It's your PIN. Huh? Uh, not excited enough, obviously. <laughs> right, because you're trying to get stuff out of me on air. Yes. No. I'll get you excited next break, and then right. we'll try and get you pinned. <laughs> Mike just got the joke as well. Yeah. I was like, ah, oh, that wasn't great. So, listeners, if you didn't Can understand you the joke, that one... <laughs> Wow, amazing joke! Thanks for bringing that one to the show. <laughs> Definitely worth saying! That was really worth saying, That man. was a really good joke, guys. You just weren't intelligent enough to get it. All of my IQ, all of my high IQ listeners out there, you're welcome for that one. That was a banger, wasn't it, everyone? We don't have uh, <laughs> listeners with a high IQ. We're not okay. known for our intellectual comedy on this show. That's true. Well, Luke, I was thinking um, to talk to... Seeing as I know that this surprise is going to happen, um, I've been trying to guess... What it is all week? He's just been like, mm. is it this? Is it that? And you haven't even got close. And what what has been throwing me off is that you know about the surprise, and there are a few other people here who know about it. But what is throwing me off is that everyone I've ever spoken to who knows about this idea is saying that I'm going to like the surprise. Now, if I if if I knew that I was going to hate it, I reckon I could guess the surprise in three goes. The only thing that is stopping me from guessing it is that apparently I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. That's very mysterious. Well, because not often on this show do we actually do nice things for each other behind the scenes. It's usually trying to prank each other or stitching mm. someone up somehow. Yeah. But yeah, I'm genuinely doing a nice thing and you're going to love it. Okay. Uh, so what I'm so confused. I'm really confused. What I, what I was thinking we could do is uh, I've got a few questions here. Happy to answer Because I them. don't believe that you're doing something nice to me. I'll so answer them honestly. I'm going to... I'm No, you won't. But don't <laughs> be scared if I just, just decide to throw you off intentionally. Okay. So I'm going to de- use these list of questions to determine whether or not I will actually like this surprise. Okay. Uh, Luke... Is the beach involved? No. Hmm, this is good. This bodes well for you. Well, for <laughs> me, because it's my surprise. Does it involve uh, any strangers on public transport asking me how tall I am? Hate that. Mm, no. That's good. Uh, does it in any way, shape, or form involve Star Wars marketing or promotional material? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> but I could have just thrown in a pass just to spook you. Okay, well, 
So uh, you don't know. It it could or it could not. Well, because the scheduled surprise is happening at 3.03 p.m. on a Thursday, I know that that is before the Star Wars movie comes out. But you could also show me the trailer. So I'm a little bit nervous now. Okay, no. No to what? <laughs> Nothing. No. Move on. <laughs> uh, okay. Will it cause the price of Bitcoin to go down? Oh, that would have been a good... No. Hmm. What about Litecoin? What's that? That's another cryptocurrency. Uh, mate, stop trying to appeal to our intellectual li- like listenership okay. on this show. So it's not going to mess with the uh, cryptocurrency market at no. all? No. Okay. Because that, that'd, be, that'd be amazing if you could do that, to be honest. I'd get you to crash it so I could buy mm. some cheap. Yeah, it would be amazing finding out I'm the Chinese government or something <laughs> on this show. <laughs> um, <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> uh, well, do I have to wear shorts? Pass. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to tell me if He's I have spooked, to wear ladies shorts and gentlemen. Or not. I don't think know. I'm going to like this one. <laughs> you're going to love it. Mate, well, do I have to wear shorts? Yes or no? You can wear shorts if you want, if it's hot. Check the weather on Thursday. Decide for yourself. You're a big boy. <laughs> I'm not your mum, all right? <laughs> okay, this is Luca Lewis for terrifying surprises. <laughs> Luke, you walked in today in an incredibly sour mood. I was disgruntled, and it's because I had a situation last night that... Look, I was accused of something, uh, and you know, you, you've probably been accused of things before. Mm. Um, this, I mean, I've done most of them, but yeah, I assume you haven't done this. This one, I was False not. Accusation. I was not guilty. Yeah, because normally when I get accused, I'm like, yeah, fair enough, I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in uh, the supermarket downstairs last night after the show, and I was browsing the uh, chip slash biscuit aisle, mm. and I have um, a chip and a bicky. I was I was browsing in particularly <laughs> the section. That was Savoy's or Jats, just Savoy's and Jats on the uh, Which is shelf. a big, sec- and it's not just Savoy's or Jats, there's a variety of, uh, what do you even call those biscuits? I was Plain trying to think bickies? of it. Yeah, like a chip bit. Savory, it's, savory it's a bits. chick. Mm. Chip biscuit. A couple of, anyway. <laughs> chip biscuit. <laughs> so, I was browsing, I think, and I was, I was sitting there next with a guy also doing the same thing. And, uh, this is a big decision, I choosing think which box you're going to go I with. was actually deciding, oh, am I going to get some Savoy's or, I should go, or should I go outside and get an actual meal? That's what I was deciding. So you're not going to get Jats. Yeah. No and then way. the guy next to me thought we were both having the same decision, which he was deciding Savoy's or Jats. I was like, mate, there's no decision. Oh, it's Savoy's all the it. way. So what I did was I ran down, I grabbed some Savoy's, and I was like, I hesitated, and I was like, nah, you know what? And I put the Savoy's back. And he thought that meant, oh... That means I made a mistake and I, I was going for the jats. So he no, was like, no, he was like, it's oh, boys or nothing. So the guy, strange, complete stranger, turns to me and goes, oh. More of a Jets man, are we? And I was what? like, obviously turned around and I was like, oh, no, I'm actually more of a Savoy boy. Mm. And Stand then he, up for the Savoy boys. Yeah. And then he was like, ah, you strike me as more of a Jets man. You look more like a Jets man. What? Did you punch him? I bought some Savoys to spite him. <laughs> Yeah, good. That's disrespectful. How dare he look at you and say that's a Jats man? Do I look like a Jats man to you? I don't look no like a Jats way. rat. I tell you what. I, any all right, Jats, I'm a, I'm a Savoy yeah. boy all the way. Don't dog the Savoy boys. And now, if you're listening and you're not familiar with what a Jats or a Savoy is, it's uh, a biscuit made by Arnott's with the same packaging, the only difference being uh, that Savoy is written on the Savoy packet and Jats is written on the Jats packet, and yeah. the fact that one biscuit far outweighs the other one in flavor and taste. Jats crumble in your mouth, Savoy's crunch. Yeah, exactly. And I love a good crunch. Everyone knows that about me. When they look at me, walk me down the street, see me going down the street, they go, there's a man who likes a crunch. Yeah. And uh, to say that I, that you like to crumble <laughs> is absolutely disrespectful. Yeah. And you know what? I think the only reason Jats were even made in the first place is to show the world how much better Savoy's are. Well, what was made have first? Happiness without a little darkness. What was made well. first? It's like the chicken or the egg. It's mm. like was Savoy's or Jats made Arnett's, first? Arnott's, give us a call. Yeah, one three hundred one six one double o six. Arnott's. I'm assuming there's a customer's. I'm probably. You know what? Someone's probably already on the phone to them right they're now. They're playing in the whole call center. I bet where yeah. they hold music. I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it got me thinking. So I, I was like, man, what's even the difference, like ingredients wise? And I was like, mm. why don't? I, why do I hate Jats so much? I'm like, why aren't I a Jats rat? Yeah. I looked into it. Jats, uh, the the secret ingredient is why they're so bad, is uh, full cream milk and malt instead of golden syrup. Filth. Disgusting. All right? He's, why would I have malt when I can have some golden syrup? Mm. All right? Malt, what's that? That's a grain? I'm not a rat. What yeah. else eats grain? Yeah, you're not a Jats rat. <laughs> exactly. I'm not a Jats rat. And you know what? I think Savoy we should... boys don't eat malt. I think that we should put it to the people. 
Oh, I actually did. I have put it to the people, right, this morning, mm. right? I did an... In- I was so furious about this. I did an Instagram poll. I said, what's better, simply Savoy's or Jats? And, and I said, Savoy's is smashing it, And I it, obviously. said, vote wisely, thinking mm-hmm. that, oh, obviously it'll be like 80-20 Savoy's over Jats. Lewis... 90-10. 50-50. What? Currently sitting at 50-50. Where are all these Jats rats coming from? I didn't know they existed. You need to delete your Instagram. I'm, it's unacceptable that 50% of your followers are I didn't know rat. they existed. So if you're listening right now and identify as a Jats rat and or a Savoy boy, give us a call, pick your team, and let us know who you're going to vote in in this poll. Mate, we're okay? going to get zero callers. Head there over to my no Instagram. Jats rats. Those are all fake accounts employed by Arnett. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> Lots of accounts coming in here from the Philippines claiming to be Jats rats. <laughs> <laughs> so give us a call on one three hundred one six one double oh six. Are you a Savoy boy or a Jats rat? Who are you going to be voting? Help us decide. Don't dog the Savoy boys. This is Luke and Lewis for lunch. <laughs> Lewis, before the break, we were having uh, a discussion about uh, an accusation that was made against me yesterday by a mm. civilian I met in the supermarket. A civilian? He, well, I'm not going to. Are you in the military? Yeah, I'm not going to say him by his name because he's a bloody Jats rat. So. <laughs> A man in the supermarket accused me of uh, being liking Jats over Savoy biscuits. Dirty Jats rat needs to show some respect to Sergeant Savoy Boy. Yeah, I'm a Savoy Boy through and through. <laughs> yeah. Have been born and bred Savoy Boy. I don't even. I hate uh, the fact that we've Matt mentioned Jats so much already on this show. Actually, bothers me. Yeah. So, so I thought I'd decide this by doing an Instagram poll before the show. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'll get this done off air. And because I'm a Savoy boy, yeah. Mike's a Savoy We're boy. We're all Savoy boys in here. I don't know where all these Jats rats are coming from. No. I did a. I did a poll. <laughs> I kid you not, it was 50-50 before we went to the song. Uh-huh. It is now 52% Jats are better than Savoy. That's disgusting, mate. I'm dis- in, I don't know what kind of content you're making to attract all of these Jats rats, <laughs> but you need to figure it out and stop it. I know. I didn't realize the fan base was so... So Jats skewed. Mm. So anyway, we've, uh, we asked a few of you to call in. Are you a Jats rat or are you a Savoy boy? Let's decide this once and for all. I just want to speak to a Jats rat and see if they exist. Yes. Well, uh, we've got our first caller, Devlin. Uh, are you a Jats rat or a Savoy boy? No, nah, I'm a Savoy boy, mate. Sorry. Yeah. To- <laughs> 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 Savoy boy, mate. Right. Right. That's Fucking crack it open a box right here, mate. Yeah, brilliant. You're mate. already cracking. You crack one open right now. Yeah, I've got one right next. Oh, to me, how's mate. the taste, mate? Ones. They sound better, even. <laughs> how's the crunch <laughs> on that Savoy? Easy Savoys. Thank you very much, Devlin. You're an absolute yes, hero. Yes, give him a clap, yeah, Savoy well, boy, through Savoy and through. Boy. All right, uh, now on to Marshall. Are you a Savoy boy or are you a dirty Jats rat? Oh, I'm a Jats rat. Oh, oh. mate, that's that's no good. He's a, we've got a Jats rat on the show. It's absolutely despicable. What's what's so good? <laughs> <laughs> you playing? You getting the Jats rat villain music? Yeah, uh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> what's the, what's so good about Jats? Why are they better than Savoys, Marshall? Well, I've just never had. Boys. I didn't even know they existed until I checked my Instagram this morning. Oh, Play the music, Mike. Mike. Turn the this, music this, down. This, this Jats rat is pure. He doesn't know what he's missing out on. So, really, the only reason you like Jats is because you've never experienced the pure ecstasy that is a Savoy <laughs> boy. That's no, right. I haven't... I- <laughs> I haven't experienced that pure ecstasy. No, ecstasy that's, that that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's no good. Marshall, you know what? We're going to have to fix this for him, I think. You know what? I will send you out... How much are they? $2? I will send you out a $2 Savoy Boy voucher that can only be redeemed by purchasing Savoy. You have to promise me that you'll purchase... Spend the two, if I send you $2, will you spend that on your first ever packet of Savoys? Luke, I swear... As a cheeky muffer, I will spend it on some Savoy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much, Marshall. We're going to fix this affliction. I will send you the Savoy Boy voucher out tomorrow, and I will follow you up on the show. I want to hear if we're going to convert you to yeah, a Savoy Boy. You will not you, be a Jats rat after this. All right, stay on the line, Marshall. We're going to get your details. We are not <laughs> joking. We're going to send you $2 in the post. <laughs> uh, and uh, our last caller, I hope, Andy. I hope it doesn't get intercepted by a Jats rat. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, are you a Jats rat or a Savoy Boy? Uh, I'm a Jats rat because what? I didn't even know Savoy's existed until about 10 minutes ago. Maybe oh. Savoy's, wait, no, well, turn which that state down. do you live He's in? ignorant. Which state do you live in? New South Wales. New South Wales. Do they Wales? not have Savoy's in New South Wales? Have you seen Savoy's at supermarkets? No, I haven't. Right. Oh. I'm, I'm going to go on a hunt this afternoon, though. But... <laughs> Please do. I think we need Take more. four to six hours off today. I'm sure your boss will understand. 
He's probably a Savoy boy through and through. Luke, we need more than $2. We have, we have an entire state to fix We here. need to fund a Savoy revolution in New South Wales. Yeah, we're going to start, we're going to start up a crowdfund to get these Savoy packets to, oh. uh, to the entire state of New, of, uh, of New South Wales. Oh my God. I'm just looking through my Instagram poll right now and, um, I'm looking at some of my actual mates who have voted in the poll and who have voted Jats. Sorry, they're still your friends? I'm really reconsidering some friendships right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, uh, I think you'd know this about me uh, because I've borrowed quite a few things from you uh, in our friendship. I'm terrible at returning things. Borrowing, I'm awesome at. I'll smash a good borrow. Returning, I'm not very good at. No, yeah, you love the first bit of the lend, which is yeah. uh, receive. you receive the item and yeah. that uh, was in regards to giving it back. Well, whenever I lend you something, I don't consider it a borrow or a lend. I just consider it a gift. Oh, that's, that's yeah. what a coincidence. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you receive a gift and I get nothing in return. Yeah, thanks, man. Ah, oh, you're such a good mate. Um, <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, I've been struggling with returning something that I know I have to return. And uh, look, I'm not even, to be honest, I have it in my house, not even using it. I have no desire or use for it. You've told me three times that you need to return it. Yeah. Um, and I just, every time I just think of something else I'd rather be doing. I uh, borrowed a stool from the Comics Lounge, which is a comedy club I perform at, yeah. uh, for my comedy special because I wanted a good stand-up comedy stool yeah. and uh, used it. Last month, I just realized, is when I borrowed it, and it's been sitting in my house, in my bedroom, in the way. It's actually an inconvenience. They use it at the comedy club, mm. and <laughs> it's currently not being used in your lounge room. Yeah, well, so, I'm, I'm holding it hostage. I'm waiting for them to book me on a Friday show, and then I'll bring it back. But until then, no, I'm not coming back on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really should return it, because it, it and yeah, I just can't be bothered. I think part of it is because I don't drive. I think when I took it from the lounge, I had to transport it in an Uber and the Uber driver just looked at me like, man, why do you have a stool? Why are you doing this to me? You can't, you you don't want to be the guy with us returning a stool on the train. No. 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 Actually, my girlfriend suggested ordering an Uber and then giving them the stool and be like, yeah, you return this, mate. But then... Is that even legal? I think you can but do what that. But about, uh, what about if, like, your stool vomits in the front and then you get mm. zero stars? It's yeah, exactly. the whole it's a whole thing where you don't want your stool to give you a bad rating because it misbehaves. Yeah, exactly. I, you know what? I'll it's set a up, risk, man. I'll set up an entirely new Uber account for my stool mm. and then send it on its way. Yeah. And then we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, follow this up. No, we're not. We're not doing this no, on I'm the not show. Doing that. I'm just gonna take How it. about you just drop it off? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go do it tonight. Yeah, Maybe. I've, I've said been, that a few times. I've been putting off returning something for way longer than that. Mm. Uh, people might know I made a video about six months ago uh, titled You Don't Own Me. In the video, I wore rollerblades and ignored a no rollerblading oh, yeah. sign. I yeah. remember you borrowing them. They're not my rollerblades. <laughs> Still got them in my bedroom. And uh, do you rollerblade often? I uh, haven't used them since. I don't <laughs> get out there and blade much. But you know what? They sit there begging to be bladed in. Mm. But uh, I don't know. So, Michael, if you're listening, uh, I'm sorry, I'll give you back your blade soon. Uh, but you know what? I saw him at like a party. Yeah. And I was like, hey, man, I saw your rollerblades. And it was like, oh, yeah, true. He forgot about his blades. And I was like, I'll totally give him back to you. So I've since, which then that got renewed another two weeks. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, I've, I've reconnected. He doesn't really mind and have his blades. But that, that time's got, that was six months ago. Oh, actually, I just remembered that um, the owner of the lounge texted me last week and said, hey, man, I need the stool. We're looking for it. Yeah. And I said, oh, I'll bring it in this week. That was two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm moving to Sydney to pursue a comedy career because I won't be performing in Melbourne anytime soon. <laughs> this is Luke and Lewis for lunch. Luke and Lewis for lunch on Triple M Modern Digital and it's Radio Mike, our button pusher's birthday. It's very exciting here in the studio. Pandemonium as we <laughs> celebrate uh, the birth of a great man 23 years ago. Um, Radio Mike comes in every day, does the hard yards and uh, last week on the show, if you're a regular listener, you'd uh, already be familiar with this, but if you're new, welcome. Uh, last week on the show, Mike sent me a very... Out of the blue, old picture on the train of him naked, completely naked, <laughs> holding a guitar over his genitalia, recreating the Blink-182 uh, the music video of What's My Age Again, right? Because it was your birthday wish for you yeah. to have this on your Instagram. That is correct. And we did talk about this on the show, and this is how you justified it last week. 
Everyone who turns 23 does this cheap Instagram. They don't even like Blink-182 and they go, nobody likes you when you're 23. I'm going the full ball and I want to recreate the actual music video. It's Wait. literally his birthday wish to get this photo up on his gram. Now, Mike, you say that everyone does this photo. I'm 23. Uh, most of my friends are 23 or 24. <laughs> I have never once in my life seen a single person other than you do this. People do this all the time. And you know what? I've been planning this Instagram since I was 18. <laughs> I have had this in the works for five years. And you so you had what? five years to decide if this or not was still a good idea and you still went, yep, still going to do it. <laughs> Yeah, and, and you know what? It's a massive weight off the shoulders. I feel great. Right. <laughs> so, if you're not familiar with uh, the lyrics... Now the rest of his life is on a, on yeah. a really big downturn, which is what are you going to post next? Do you have any other Blink-182 songs about no, being a specific planning, age? He's currently planning for his 29th... Oh, uh, no, sorry, 28th birthday. That's good, Mass Luke. Well done. Um, <laughs> what about your 182nd birthday? Oh, that's you could a blink for one. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys aren't familiar with the Blink-182 song and the lyric, this is how the song goes. And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. So, Nobody likes you when you're 23. Yeah, well, that's another thing. Why do you want... That's so negative. Why do you want that on your gram? But anyway, for some unknown reason, <laughs> Radio Mike wanted to upload this Instagram picture. And me and Lewis, we put our heads together and we were like, you know what, mate? Let's make... His dream's a little more true. Because I think you brought it up to me in person that perhaps you were like, oh, you know, I've committed it. I'm naked in the photo yeah. with the guitar. Because it's it- on Instagram now, and you came in in a foul mood this morning because it was tanking. It wasn't going well. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you know what? At the end of the... It, it's doing all right now. It was tanking in the morning. I Because I, you like, posted at 8 in the morning. Too early. People I got are too going excited. to work, not scrolling your Instagram feed looking for nudes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. He actually uh, did hashtag nudes uh, on the Instagram. <laughs> so I haven't, I haven't clicked on the hashtag, but I just already know yours is the worst photo. On maximum hashtag maxim, maximum exposure, guys. That's how you be a social media now, influencer. What we've done. Lewis and I, right, we're, we're, we put our heads together and we went, you know what? You, were, you raised some concerns that perhaps, oh, you know, you, you were happy with how you recreated it, but you were like, I oh, don't know, it doesn't really look that much like the film clip. It's an acoustic guitar. They have electric guitars in the mm. music video. So me and Lewis like, you know what? Let's make Radio Mike's dream come true. We, we yes. talked about this as a surprise on the show yesterday when we kicked you out of the studio. We've gone behind your back. We've got you a wonderful birthday gift because oh, no. uh, Blink-182, I think the reason why your photo didn't go very well is where's the rest of the other two members? <laughs> there's there's three and members not, in Blink-182. It's not shot in a studio. And uh, so me and Lewis, there's a studio up here at the <laughs> radio station uh, we went up you there, did not do took this. our clothes off at work, and uh, we made you <laughs> this. We, we a re- recreation. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we've also written the lyrics here. Up the top it says, uh, nobody likes you. I actually ran out of room for when, it, when you're 23. So it just says, nobody likes you. Happy birthday, Mike. That is actually awesome. So, that looks sick. So yeah. what you're looking at right now, what Mike's seeing, is uh, Lewis on the drum kit at the back, completely naked except for a drum kit, me standing there with a bass guitar covering my junk, and the original picture of Radio Mike with his guitar over him. We cut it out and put it next it to It looks us. identical almost to the Blink-182 music video. Mate, was this more what you were picturing on your gram? That is like, that is actually the coolest thing that anyone's ever done for me. I, like, really? It says nobody likes you at the top. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, we, put, we put it in a frame so you can hang it on your wall. We yeah, framed yeah. the photo. It's A3, so it can really take up a big chunk of your wall. We had to, Mike, I want you to appreciate this. We, uh, because we don't officially work here, we haven't had an induction day, we had to get someone else to print this for us. We had to email a naked photo of the three of us. <laughs> the lady in IT was like, Wait, got that into actually? Yeah, yeah, she loved it. <laughs> I Thankfully. Said it, we asked her, I think she said it as a screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually sick. Can you guys sign it? <laughs> uh... I like it. Uh, there's obviously no more room for text. Yeah. I mean, I wrote nobody likes you. I took up all the all the room. Uh, nobody likes you. Happy birthday, Mike. So, well done. Uh, <laughs> so there you go, mate. He's crying, everyone. Thank you so much, guys. That That's hilarious. I That's all right. I hope I, I hope I expect to see a photo of this hung up in your bedroom. So whenever you bring and a you know girl what? home, Let's send it to Blink One Eighty Two. We so should tag them in it. Yeah. Maybe we'll have them on the show sometime. Yeah, we'll put it on Instagram. This is Luke and Lewis for lunch on Triple A Modern Digital. Luke, it's time to do this. Businesses exposed. 
Ah, you've been a naughty business. Business is Exposed is a segment where I expose businesses, believe it or not. Usually with uh, undertones of rage and vengeance. Mm. Uh, you don't like being wronged by a corporation or a business. No, and uh, really I was thinking back at all the businesses I've exposed. Most of them have been giant multinational corporations. I've been really damaging the global economy with this segment. You have, and but you also have stated publicly on this segment that you, and I quote, would also kick a mum and pop business in the teeth. <laughs> so- <laughs> So, today you bring down more of a local one. Yep, if you need exposing, <laughs> you need to be exposed. Uh, and today, uh, I am going to be exposing, uh, it's, not a, it's not a tiny business, but it is, it's a step down from Amazon, who I have exposed previously. Um, and uh, I'm going to be talking about Ashcombe Mazes. It's a tourist <laughs> attraction in the Mornington Peninsula that claims to have some of the biggest mazes in the Mornington Peninsula. Some That's of the not, best... a, not a huge claim. Well, um, some of the best mazes. The point is, mate, they're talking <laughs> up their mazes. And you know me, love a good maze. In fact, like us, they, uh, we are the best show on Triple M Modern Digital. <laughs> we are. Yeah. That's a fact, mate. The only. Don't ever forget it. That's <laughs> irrelevant. Okay? So, I went to uh, Ashco Mazes, and they claim to have some of the best mazes in Victoria. Uh, I'm actually, I've, they've got a map. They have multiple mazes. You brought mazes. the pamphlet in. Mate. So, he's finally got evidence. Yes, I have evidence for you. Okay? And looking at this, right, all these different mazes, they look pretty good, That's don't they? a lot they? of mazes, yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing an aerial view of the mazes currently. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's Good a, maze? Yeah. It looks tricky. Yeah, it does. It looks really difficult. And that's what you want out of a maze. That's what you Challenging. want out of a maze. Uh, I want a maze where if I don't pack like a full on lunch, I could die in yeah. there. If you, you don't know, I could come starve in with to death. Tin fruit and confidence. Yeah. There's no way you're getting out of that alive. I want a maze like the Tri Wizard Cup, all right? If yep. Victor Crumb isn't trying to beat me to the center, you're not right. interested. Yep. Uh, now, I went to this maze place with my girlfriend, and we were expecting a big maze. We went in the first maze. How long do you think it took us? This is the, this, this is the biggest one. How long do you think uh, it took us? 45 minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> what? In and out. Wasn't even hard. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so exposed. Hang on. Sorry. I don't want to poo-poo the segment, but you, they didn't claim to have the most difficult or challenging mazes, did they? That imply, That's what a maze is. They're supposed to be challenging. I mean, I'm sure that was confidence boosting for you. You would have been like, man, I just knocked that out in two minutes. An eight-year-old could have done it in three. <laughs> it was. I was expecting this big maze. Okay. Anyway, so we move on to the next maze. We go to the rose uh, maze, one made out of roses. Now, yeah. you think that would be quite interesting, maybe a little bit beautiful, a little bit romantic. You could smell the roses. I could pick one, give one to my girlfriend. Mm. She'd love it. So while you struggle to work your way out of a puzzle situation, you are... I'm also I'm also racking up points with my JF. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so right, we go to the the maze thing. We walk in to the to the rose maze. Incredibly unkempt. The only thing I got out of that rose maze was scratches on my face. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so exposed. It just didn't maintain their maze. It just hurt. It yeah, was just painful. More importantly, though, how long did it take you? I just couldn't complete it. Hit it mm-hmm. again, Mike. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so exposed. Couldn't complete it, not because it was too difficult, but because it was too painful. One more time. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so exposed. Right? Okay, finally. Um, I've cracked it. I went to uh, the final but maze. There's three mazes, yeah. It was three, okay? There was actually, well, so maybe actually... that was supposed to be the... You said you wanted a challenge at the start. They've mm. thrown you a challenge by cutting up your face and your limbs. <laughs> What more of a challenge do you want? That is some proper Tri Wizard tournament stuff, all right? There yeah, weren't, there weren't mate, any Death Eaters no, in there. No, because I didn't even have to think twice about where to go. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do this one because it's just going to be painful. And also, the rose bushes were waist height. I could see the exit. Another one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so exposed. Do you still have the Lewis exposed sound effect in no. your system? Get mate. it ready. <laughs> Go, keep exposing. Right, so, okay, final maze. The lavender maze, which you would think would be awesome, okay? Get to the lavender maze, and uh, we're like, this is going to be good. It's going to smell nice. It's going to be beautiful. We walk in, and you know what, Luke? It was just full of bees. Not even lavender. No, oh there was, God, there was so why do you think exposed. there were so many bees in there? It just attracted bees. It was like the maze of bees. I completed it, but I got stung like three times, and it still only took me two minutes. 
Now, it's got to the end of the segment. You you feel like you've exposed this business. All I want to say is you came out swinging saying at the start of this, all you wanted was a challenge from these mazes. Yep. And by the sounds of it, you came out with scratches. You're attacked by bees. This sounds like the best and most challenging mazes I've That's ever heard of. of Mike, hit the button. Lewis, you've been exposed for exposing. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so exposed. Stop exposing me in my own segment. You've done this twice now. I've had enough. That is not the point of a maze. And you know what else I'm sick of, mate? You said at the start of this segment that if I made a pun about mazes, that if I said that it was amazing, you would hit the bad joke alarm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to do that, okay? But seeing as there was a rose maze, I think uh, you could suggest that instead of having all of those roses, they could have just had a few more rows of hedge. Don't even hit it. Just go to a song. (laughs) Luke, how is our poll of Savoy versus Jats going? Yep, so earlier in the show, we opened up the debate, uh, what what is better out of the biscuit, the Arnott's biscuits, uh, Savoy's or Jats? Are you a Savoy boy or are you a Jats rat? Sorry, and dirty Jat rat. Dirty, dirty <laughs> Jats rat. And uh, the poll is now, thank God, in the Savoy boys' favour. Oh, uh, 52%. Not by much, though. That's not enough. Worryingly it should be 99.5, really. <laughs> You know, we've been, we've been. I should be a hundred percent. Yeah, we've been racking our minds trying to think of why anyone would like Jats more than Savoy's. We had two callers that claimed to be Jats rats, but both of them said that they've never had a Savoy. So we've committed to posting them two dollars so they can buy Savoy's. Yes, and we did some research uh, during the song mm. um, and during the show that. Uh, I found out why. I'm not sure if Savoy's are made in New South Wales. So I think they're very passionate about Jats, but they just don't know what they're, they're missing just, out on. The masses are ignorant. We get both in uh we're in Victoria right now. Um and I don't know about the other states. I've been to other states and I think they have both because I've eaten a Savoy in Brizzy and Perth Well, you before. know, they say that Melbourne is the most livable city in the world. And Maybe I think that has a lot to do with the Savoy's. <laughs> yes. Because, I mean, we do have Jats, which could bring us down to number two at any point. But as long as we have Savoy's keeping the balance for the people, we're going to remain on the top of that list. Yeah, and uh, we we did say before what came first, Jats or Savoy's. Mm. It was Savoy's. Yeah. Yeah, I Googled it. Good. So... The Jats are this cake. It's, so it's like Savoy's this fake... were made first. Jats is then... like the barley ripoff of Savoy's. It's ridiculous. That's why it's spelt so wrong. They didn't even try and like write <laughs> Zavay's or something to make it believable. They put a Z in it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know You know what, though? Um, so rats can't spell, man. <laughs> I, have, uh, I have a shocking admission to, uh, to, to tell you, Luke. Um, Ready I'm, to be shocked. I'm not a Jats rat, but what? On it, I'm, I'm said I'm not a Jats oh, rat. Thank don't God. Freak, don't, sorry. <laughs> I'm not a Jats rat. To listeners, I anyone left the studio. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I almost said I was. Have fun with your radio yeah. show, mate. I'm not doing one with a Jats rat. <laughs> Neither would I. Um, but uh, even though I'm not a Jats rat and I do consider myself a Savoy boy, on occasion, I don't mind a clicks fix. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the premium of the savoury bicky. I second this. Mm. And look, it is controversial coming from such a hardcore Savoy boy, but you're right. Not like, okay, nine to five during the week, I'm a Savoy boy through and through. Come to the weekend, give me my clicks fix. Yeah, so you know, you get together with you know, the clicks fix. Savoy is a business biscuit, uh, clicks fix is for leisure. It's more of a weekend bicky. So, yeah. uh, and, and also. Kick your feet up. Hey, mate. Have you need a clicks? clicks? Yeah. <laughs> and and also, um, clicks is more of the premium price range too. So I think mm. that you know, we can't really afford to be full on clicks fixes. Yeah. So clicks fix is just a special treat for the Well, weekend. I don't need it during the week because during the week I have wheat bix for breakfast. So I have a bix fix in the morning mm. and I'd be a Savoy boy throughout the throughout the rest of the day. But I often have pancakes on weekends, so I still need to fix or something. And clicks yeah. gives me that rhyme. So you fix. you wouldn't want to overdose on things that rhyme with fix. Like imagine if you were a gymnast and you like you had your yeah. wheat bix and your clicks fix yeah. and you did some tricks. Or if, that's too many things or that rhyme dessert, with fix. Or if dessert you decide to have a Twix fix. Yeah. Just yeah. stop. So too you, many things that rhyme. Twix fix, your bix <laughs> fix, you do some tricks and then have a Twix. It's just too many things that rhyme with fix. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why we have a radio show. <laughs> That brings us to the end of the show. This is Luke and Lewis for lunch. Thank you very much for listening. Check us out on social media. Make sure you vote in that Instagram poll. Yes, we want our keep Savoy voting. Uh, let us know if you're a Savoy boy. Please don't let the Jats Rats win. Go on my Instagram. It's on uh, Luke Kidwell. I don't want to plug my Instagram. I'm not Radio Mike. But, um, yeah, go for, vote on my story. Uh, mm. Are you uh, a Savoy boy or a Jats Rat? 
vote wisely, everyone. And uh, while you're at it, just because you mentioned Michael's Instagram, so go over to his page and preemptively block him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> block radio. Oh, you Mike thought we Instagram. forgot about that one, Mike, didn't you? All right. Thank you very much for listening, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. This is Luke and Lewis for lunch.